Okay, Katie, what I'm gonna do again is uh, with the brows, this one's the great one and this one is a little off. So what I'm gonna do is just take out that little hair there that's coming in and we'll fill in this area to match this one. But your brows are pretty clean and just a little underneath here so they aren't coming down. Where should the brow begin and where should it end? Well, where your eye comes in like this, it starts right here, which is perfect on you. I mean, this one's a little bit further out. This one's a little bit further in, so if you could let some of those grow in. We'll just leave that for now and we'll start on your foundation. And you were telling me earlier that it's a little bit drier through here and a little bit oilier. You have more oil in the forehead area and so sometimes it tends to make you break out. So um, because this area is tends to be more dry, we're gonna start with a tinted moisturizer to give you more of a lighter look and then we'll go back and cover those areas. A lot of times people th think that because they have a breakout, they have to like pack on the foundation. You can see with the tinted moisturizer, we're getting a pretty good coverage. And make sure you use something that has those golden tones, matches your skin. Because of my skin tone, should I use a more yellow base? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. And will it say on a package or do I just need to well, look this is something, color. you know, it depends. If you're in a store, a department store, you can look at it and try it on your skin. If you're looking in a drug store and trying to find something, it's going to be harder because you don't have testers, but you can see through it. Um, you might have to take a couple tries before you find something. I'm using a cream foundation here, applying it with the brush. That way we're covering just those areas without doing too much. Now, Asian eyebrows are a little bit different than regular eyebrows because they're very, very fine. Sometimes on certain people, you have a little bit more. Some people have it very fine that it's almost better to use like a regular lead pencil to color it in because it's almost a grayish color. Using very light strokes and again, taking a brush and just blending that out so it's soft. We're gonna add a soft shadow. Now for Asian skin, you wouldn't use anything too light. You wanna use something that has a little bit of a soft yellow in it because that will keep it neutral on your eye. Asian skin really is so beautiful that you can, you can wear color and it looks so pretty. You know, for an evening look, we might do that. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of a bronzy. You know the bronzy colors are so pretty and applying that to the eyelid area. Now we're just doing this just on the eyelid area. So we get a little bit of the soft base in here, what we're gonna use. And now to make your lashes stand out more because I know your lashes are very fine and thin. So we need to add more of a liner and that's where we're gonna make the illusion of a thicker lash. For this look, I'm just gonna use a dark brown for daytime. Close. And get it right in that lash line, extending it out. Are you lining the whole eye? I'm lining the whole eye and then going over it with a shadow. What I wanna do is just to give her a little more depth in the eye area here, open again, just taking this area, you see in through here, this will give us an illusion of more space. Now this is something you really have to be careful in doing and blending really well because you don't want it to be just sitting there. It's gonna be like, what is that? You know what I mean? So really be careful. You see, you can feel how I'm getting the, the liner right in there with your lashes, right in the lash line. I'm blending with the brush. And it's easy for you if you're doing it yourself where you see where the lash line is there, then take your brush and go in and start your blending here. So see how we've given like, exaggerate the eye a little bit and giving it more shape, but very, very light. Okay, grab it, and then when you get it, pump it three times hard. One, two, three, okay. Getting it right at the root and lifting up. Should you do the top and bottom of the lashes? I wouldn't do your bottom at all. Now we're gonna give you a little bit of powder. Take a little of the shine off. Now if you want, you can take a small brush 
filling in really close to the lashes, smudging it, and really fill in that corner area because we have that space in there to fill in. And blending again here. And that just kind of gives you that illusion of it without being too much mascara. You don't want to make, try, have to try and maintain that all day. It's too much work. And with the blush, I think we should stay in something kind of soft and natural. Soft, mauvey pink color, I think. And just on the apples of the cheeks, you have great cheekbones. For your lips, I'm just going to add a little bit of a kind of a natural gloss. No liner. Almost the same color that you your lips are, which are, your lips are already so beautiful and they have color in them. You don't really need to add that much. I like it when the lips look more natural and not too made up for daytime. I always like to use my fingers in there and take it off. And there's your daytime look. I love how natural this looks. The first thing I notice is how my eyes are more accentuated but not too made up. And I really like how my skin is corrected and you don't see so many little bumps and flaws. And it feels very natural, feels very light. And I think it looks great.